Hey guys, welcome back to another Big Meat Sunday. Thanks for coming back. Today we're going to be doing a guacamole dip, but it's not going to be your ordinary guacamole. You've seen my guacamole before. I've made it. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it right here. Check that out. But in the meantime, we're going to be doing a special uh, toast to the Elote Cafe, so to speak. I'm stealing their recipe, changing it up a little bit, but uh, they do this guac that's fantastic. They use a elote type corn and they also put almonds in it. I'm gonna switch it up a bit. I'm gonna do it my own way. You guys are gonna dig it. Stick around. All right, first thing we're gonna do is get our corn lubricated. I have a little uh, coconut oil here. Then a little uh, adobo chili powder. It's one of my favorite things on the planet at this moment anyway. Get some of that on there. It, uh, I used a lot of this instead of salt. I also going to put uh, some chipotle chili pepper powder on there. And uh, yeah, perfect. We're going to take this out to the grill and we're going to get it nice and toasty. This is going to be pretty darn good, you guys. All right, so we got some avocados here. Corn's out on the grill, getting uh, nice and grilled. We're going to get these avocados cut up. So that's our last avocado. And we have a little bit of minced onion, probably about two tablespoons. And some cilantro, probably about the same amount, but we're only gonna add half, because we can always add more. It's hard to take it out. Uh, about a half of a jalapeno. And this is the kicker. This stuff is good. These are pepitas, uh, roasted pumpkin seeds. These things are fine. Mm. I'm gonna sprinkle some in, reserve a little bit in case we want a little more. And then this, this is gonna be the kicker. I think this is gonna provide some nice salty tones to this. I don't like using a lot of salt, but uh, I do believe that uh, this queso fresco is gonna be epic awesome uh, with this. I'm just gonna grind it off little pieces into here and it's gonna provide like a nice salty flavor without it being salt. A little more than a tablespoon probably. Don't want it to be too prevalent. All right, that looks good. Okay, we're just gonna get this mashed up together. I'm not gonna to go too nuts. The corn should be just about ready by now. All right, so we got the uh, corn back off the grill. Check that out. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Nice and grilled up. I'm gonna take an anti-slip thingy and we're gonna uh, retrieve some of this tasty crunchiness. Oh, it looks delicious. It smells so good. Look at that corn. It's beautiful. All right, so we're just going to take this and place it right whoa, in our bowl. Try not to get most of it all over the cutting board. Hey, you know, it's just food, right? All right. And we'll get this mixed in. Oh. I wish you guys could smell this. Smell-o-vision ever comes to be, I will definitely get that YouTube channel going. Wow, this smells and looks great. All right, let's get a taste. Oh, mm. oh man. Jeff, thanks for this idea, man, because it's killer. Jeff over at Elote Cafe in Sedona, Arizona. 
gave me the inspiration to do this. Tell you what, it's freaking amazing. Uh, mm. Oh my goodness, you guys, you got to try this. It's super easy and you're going to love it. You guys know the drill. Sub button, thumbs up, and thanks for coming by. Stick around.